Hello YouTube friends, good to see you again. I'm Sean from VisibleDark.ca and uh, this video here we're going to be looking at the Easy Processing Suite by uh, Dark Archon. And uh, this is a free uh, processing suite uh, script that can be installed into PixInsight. And what it does is it automates uh, uh, a number of uh, processing uh, functions that uh, you would use in image processing. Uh, automates them, makes it a lot easier, a lot simpler for it to use. And uh, so if you just want to, if you're just in this for some fun and you want to uh, process an image quick and have a nice result, you can do that by using the Easy Processing Suite or you can uh, incorporate some of the, uh, the tools within the processing suite to your workflow and uh, make things a little easier for you. However you look at it, however you want to uh, use it, it's going to make the job much easier. It's going to make PixInsight easy for you. What I found Easy Processing Suite good for was that uh, when I'm uh, working on a project and collecting data, I'm always checking it. So I'll take the first uh, four or five hours of data and I will uh, calibrate it and stack it and process it quickly just to see what I've got. And then when I add another four or five hours to it, um, I'll redo that processing again uh, just to see how it's coming along. So uh, the easy processing suite can be utilized in different ways, but um, one of the ways that I use it is just for uh, performing quick processes on the images just to see what I've got, um, just to make sure that everything's coming along as I expect it to and as I want it to. So that could be handy for you as well uh, to use it in that in that way, or you could just process your images using Easy Processing Suite and uh, and call it a day um, if you're happy with the result that it gives you. Um, it actually works really well, and uh, we're going to check it out. So let's have a look at it right now. All right, so I'm in PixInsight, and uh, this is where you'll find Easy Processing Suite once you install it uh, under Script Easy Processing Suite. Uh, to get it installed, uh, you go to Resources, Updates, Manage Repositories, and you're going to want to uh, copy and paste this URL into, so you just add it, click Add and copy and paste it here, click OK, and it'll add it uh, to the repositories. I will put this in the description so you guys can easily copy and paste it. And um, once you've got it uh, added in, you click OK, and then you want to go back to resources updates and you want to check for updates now mine's going to show there's no updates available because it's up to date yours will show that there is one update available for the uh, easy processing suite and you'll just click ok to um, add that to PixInsight. once you're done though you have to close PixInsight down and restart it and it will install the script for you then um, that's a very important step. The other thing that you need to know for using Easy Processing Suite is you need the uh, Starnet process. Um, Easy Processing Suite uses the Starnet process um, for creating masks and um, you're going to need that installed as a prerequisite um, for using the Easy Processing Suite. Uh, if you're uh, if you have Starnet already, you're all set to go. If you don't have Starnet, I have a video uh, that uh, talks about Starnet and uh, how to use it and um, how you can install it. It's pretty straightforward stuff. Okay, so let's have a look at how this works. So I've got, you You have to have uh, a master light frame, of course, and your master light frame is your um, calibrated lights that are aligned and stacked. And this is unstretched, as we can see. I've just got an auto stretch on it so we can so we can actually see it. Uh, this is something I've been working on. This is the uh, uh, Wizard Nebula and um, this has been taken with the Esprit 100 triplet refractor, uh, the new QHY268C cooled CMOS camera which is uh, 26 megapixels and a uh, 0.3 or sorry a 3.76 uh, pixel size uh, so very high resolution. Um, and also I use the new L-Extreme uh, from Optolong, um, the L-Extreme filter, which uh, captures, isolates the H-Alpha and the O3 emission lines. So now in order to use the easy processing script, if you just want to um, make life a little simpler in PixInsight, this is a great tool. Uh, you can process a, an image and be happy with it, or you could utilize some of these functions um, to 
uh, just make life a little easier in terms of processing your image. Uh, you can incorporate them into your workflow and uh, take some of the uh, uh, take some of the work out of it. So the Easy Processing Suite does um, a lot of the heavy lifting for you, uh, makes it a lot more simpler to perform some of these functions. So once we have our light frame here uh, in PixInsight and we're ready to go, we can start with the first step, which is um, the deconvolution and it uh, pops up a warning message message letting you know that this uh, script is under heavy development and things could crash so to save your work um, and you're just going to click that you understand that i haven't had any issues with it crashing really um, in the in the later updates um, so it's been pretty pretty stable for the most part there is instructions that you can click on and it tells you how to use um, the different components so in this case here it's showing us how to use the decon and we can read that um, to understand it better. I'll show you how it's done just real quick. Um, you're going to select your, uh, let's just rename this something shorter here. Hold on one second for me. I'm just going to name this uh, Master RGB. Okay, and then we're going to go back to the Easy Decon. And we're going to select the Master RGB frame. And we're going to click on create new process star mask. And what's going to happen is easy decon is going to um, create a star mask for use in deconvolution of the image. And this might take a while um, for Starnet. Starnet can be uh, can take two or three minutes to process um, unless you've uh, done the modifications to speed it up. Um, I have a video on how to speed up Starnet and uh, uh, make it really fast, actually, using your GPU instead of your CPU. Um, that comes courtesy of Dark Archon, who uh, um, actually uh, posted how to do it. And uh, I have a video that uh, explains it a bit um, so that you can uh, do it yourself and uh, speed up Starnet. Um, and it works really well. It speeds it up considerably. Um, Dark Archon is actually the same uh uh, person behind uh, the easy processing suite as well so and also one of the uh, developers of Nina uh, the astrophotography acquisition software so uh, this is uh, this is really great stuff that uh, Dark Archon is uh, is putting out and making available for free completely free and um, you guys can just download and and uh, or or add the uh, the scripts and uh, be off and running okay so it's completed the uh, creation of the star mask and we can see that it added under star mask it added the easy decon master RGB star mask so now we want to go to deconvolution tab and we're going to click on generate PSF and this is going to generate a uh, point spread function um, image of the stars and again that is for use within the deconvolution process if you're familiar with deconvolution you'll know you'll understand that and you'll be aware of that if you're not then uh, that's this is something that uh, is needed in order to perform a proper deconvolution in PixInsight so it uh, automatically generates your PSF image for you and we've got it here and it adds it in easy PSF master RGB um, so that's ready to go the default settings work quite well. You're welcome to play with these settings and see what uh, difference they make for you on your various images. But um, the default settings work pretty good, I found. And um, all we're going to do is go down here and click Run Easy Decon. And now what's going to happen is Easy Processing Suite is going to perform a deconvolution on the image. So we're just going to let it uh, do that. We'll come back to it when it's done. Okay, and it completed the um, deconvolution on the image, and uh, it made a, uh, a backup for us here. That's marked original, and we can just uh, place that out of the way over here, and we can put our PSF image up over here. We can park it there, and the star mask, we can also park it right over here as well. Uh, we won't need that. And uh, so this is the uh, deconvolution of the uh, of the image, and we can now go on to the next step in the processing suite. So we go back to Easy Processing Suite, and we're going to run the denoise now. And again, it's going to have the warning message. Just click Understood, and you're going to select your master RGB. 
you're going to select your image. Mine's called Master RGB. Select your image that you have open. And again, you can play with these settings. Um, they're completely adjustable. See what works best for you. I'm just doing the default settings for the purpose of this video. And then we're going to go to the TGV settings tab. And you're going to want, it's going to be automatically marked, uh, checked off to run it and use edge protection. And again, you can just save the defaults. Uh, MMT settings, multi-scale uh, median transform is set to run. Um, again, these settings are adjustable and you can make adjustments to it um, and see what difference it makes uh, for your image. Uh, once you've uh, made sure that all of these tabs are ready to go um, and that you've selected your uh, light frame, the light frame that had the deconvolution applied to it, then you simply uh, go down here and click Run Easy Denoise. So the denoise finished on the image and uh, it did a nice job and we can go on to the next which is the soft stretch so we're going to turn off the auto stretch on our image we're going to go to easy processing suite and we'll go to soft stretch click understood and we'll select our image and this is where you can stretch your image you can adjust some of these settings to get different results or you could leave it at the default whatever works best for you what if we expand the low here let's see what happens makes it a little brighter There, that looks pretty good. And now we can just run the soft stretch on it. And there's our image. Our image is done. So the easy uh, processing suite made things really simple to do. And uh, if you're just looking to, like I said, want to have some fun and you want to use PixInsight uh, to process your image quickly and, and have it more automated, then this is a great... Uh, a uh, great script to add to PixInsight and make use of. Um, if you're, if you have a workflow and you want to just incorporate some of these uh, scripts into your workflow to make things a little easier, say your deconvolution and your denoise uh, and your star reduction, um, by all means, uh, you can definitely do that. The one thing that we didn't cover was the uh, star reduction, which um, you can use as well if you want to reduce the stars in your image and again you just select your your image and uh, you create a star mask for the reduction so we're going to click on that and it's going to use StarNet to create this star mask we'll just wait for it just be a few more seconds. StarNet, as again, as I said, can take several minutes. Uh, if you have the uh, modification installed to speed it up, then it uh, can take uh, a lot less time. Okay, so it created the um, StarNet star mask for us that we can use for star reduction. And star reduction mode, we can choose between uh, a morphological selection or we can do Adam Block's uh, de-emphasis method. Um, I haven't tried uh, Adam Block's method yet, so why don't we give that a try in this, uh, this look at uh, Easy uh, Processing Suite and just see how it works. We'll click Run, and Easy Processing Suite will go to work on the image to reduce the uh, stars for us. And there we have it. The uh, star reduction was performed on the image and uh, we should be able to actually go back one step here and uh, we can see the difference that it was that was made if we zoom in a bit here we can see the stars are a little larger and now they're a little smaller so it worked quite well and it uh, produced uh, an image for us relatively easy uh, easy processing suite like i said 
takes care of a lot of the heavy lifting and gets you an image that's processed uh, quickly and easily in Pix and Sight. Okay, that's it. So thanks very much for tuning in. Uh, I hope that uh, this video was helpful and uh, let me know if you've uh, grabbed the easy processing suite and installed that script into your Pix and Sight. Uh, let me know how it's going for you and uh, what you think of it. Comment below. Uh, let me know. I would uh, really be interested to, uh, to know uh, what other people uh, think about this script and uh, how it's working for them. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, um, if you are a current subscriber, thank you very much. I appreciate you uh, following along and tuning in. Um, that's it for this video. Take care, everyone. We'll see you in the next one. Clear skies.